Hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful day in the world of Feed the Beast Beyond on BPD. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, you know, the different gameplay there, the Ark Survival Evolved. Um, it's going to be, and I'm playing it with a buddy of mine, so it should be a little bit more interesting. Where it, Things are kind of a lot more straight to the point in this series, and I hope... With the other series and the different game, maybe, uh, you know, it changes up. We kind of do a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of idle talking, I guess you could say, but with another player, you know, there's a lot more of that. So hopefully it's a little bit, you know, a different kind of entertaining, I suppose you could say. But uh, haven't really done much here in between. Oh, actually I did. So we went through one full, uh, one full cycle here of this reactor and we have so much power look at this 40 million 40 million and then these over here are 34 and 27 so we have a lot of uh a lot of power and that's what we're going to be kind of dealing with today what to do with all this power because just four of these uh quad fuel rods it is not gonna get the kind of power that we are looking for so this is like a depleted one here and it only gives us four tiny piles of uranium. And we need nine tiny piles of uranium to get one piece of uranium. And we need a lot of uranium. And my cat uh, actually wants to get out. So go ahead and give me one second. And I'm back. She actually just kind of has a problem with closed doors. And it, I, I apologize if you can hear her now kind of going off. But anyway, yeah, we need to deal with what to do. Or we need to figure out what to do with all the power that we're generating. Because... If I don't, then I'm just kind of wasting power here, right? So, I do have a, uh, I do have a solution. Oh, it's nighttime, of course. Let me go ahead and sleep. So, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, as far as industrial craft goes, the thing that, one thing that I know for sure takes a decent amount of power is UU matter, and UU matter can be used to create pretty much any item in the game or any base item, you know, stuff like that. So, it could be interesting to kind of start manufacturing that. So, the process is relatively lengthy. We have a lot of stuff to get into today and uh, kind of a lot of process. Hopefully I'm able to kind of get all of it done, but the setup is gonna be a little bit interesting. So the first thing that we're going to need, of course, is we're gonna go ahead and make some recipes here. We're gonna need a, uh, let me look here. We need a mass fabricator. Okay, so we need one Labatron crystal, one advanced. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and make a lap, lap, all right, one of these, okay, uh, we need an advanced, we'll go ahead and craft one of these, okay, and we also need one of these, and that should be it for that, we're also going to need a replicator, and this one's actually super, super complicated, so I'm going to go ahead and wait on that for a second, but we also need a compactor. So for a compactor or a recycler, we need a compactor. I think it was a, or a compressor. Yeah, a compressor. And this is to make the recycler. So, um, do I, is that not a recipe? I thought I was able to auto craft compressors. What? Do I only just have the one? Is that why? I think so. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, make compressors craftable. Where is it at? All right. Uh, electronic circuit, I could have swore, let me look at my pattern terminal, make sure all of my assembly, yeah, they are, okay, so I guess I never did do compressor, hmm, oh, well, well, that's fine, we need a basic, uh, machine frame, which, uh, we have some, and we need a electronic circuit, electronic, all right, let's go ahead and make one of these, all right, so, now we should be able to make our, come on, how long does it take to make electronic circuit? For real? I think it has to make like copper wire or something. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and make compressors auto craftable and then we'll go ahead and grab one as well. And then we'll go to our recycler here, make that auto craftable and then our mass fabricator should be good to go as well. All right, so there's three machines. Oh, look at this. Our molecular assemblers are almost full. Well, I mean, we still have time. We've got time. We've got plenty more recipes before I have to expand that. Okay. So, there's those. Now, to the replicator. Now is when it gets kind of complicated. I have some of the stuff uh, already done. Actually, the only thing I have, like, already done are the MFE and I did this reinforced glass. So, this reinforced stone is what we need. Now, this is, like, 
kind of one of the complicated parts about this whole situation. So I'm going to take this, uh, this thing right here. Hmm. What is this? Okay. So actually I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Give me that. Okay, cool. So now I'm also going to pop this off because I don't want my machine to explode when I put it down. So that'll go there. Okay. Let me go ahead and give you some of these and we'll go ahead and put power back right there. Okay. And we're going to get one more fluid condo. I took it down because I don't want it to be uh, with all this automation that I have here. So I, uh, I'm temporarily moving it for because we're not going to be making a ton of this stuff here but we do need some water okay so we got water going in there and now what we need is this cf powder so i'm gonna make um i guess i'll just make a stack of it uh i don't have enough of this stone dust okay so how do you make stone dust i know you get it from doing uh like putting things through the macerator like the um or no no, no not the macerator th through the, th the thermal centrifuge you get stone dust but there has to be another way to make it uh oh it looks like there isn't that's crazy you can really well you can put stone in a thermal centrifuge cobble in the thermal centrifuge and get one but oh that's that's nuts i did not actually expect it to uh need more dust so let's go ahead and make um we'll go ahead and make i guess half a stack 31 can i do that okay i can so that's gonna it's gonna need to be making sand all right so what we do here is we go ahead and put it on this fluid enrich and we throw that in there now uh we'll go ahead and give it some overclockers as well Perfect. All right, so that gets a thousand mil buckets. Now we just need more of the CF powder. We got more. Okay, and we put that in there, like so. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm going to take it out right after this one. Oh, let me get one more in there. And I think it's 700. Uh, all right, so we'll switch tanks here, and we need our CF sprayer. Yeah, all right. So we put this in and we put it to fill drain from fill cell from tank. And we put that in there, okay. So oh dang it. Dang it, I should have turned that off. Um never active. Can I just pick oh sorry if you hear the people. There's a new kitten in my house. Uh and I guess they're playing with it and they sound like they're having a pretty good time. So that's pretty cool. All right, I got to break this once again. And that is, we'll make this should always be insert and we'll need to put our CF or our glass. No, dang it. That was one thing I was hoping I forgot to put the transformers. Son of a businessman. Oh, that is unfortunate, man. Oh. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. I think we have those auto craftable. Yeah, all right, so I'll just go ahead and make another canning machine. Oh, that's what happens when you do not do things 100% correct. <laughs> right there. So, uh, no, that doesn't go there. This goes here, and then I need one more that looks like it just completely broke off. Blocks, grab this, then we need our chisel, and nope, one of these, oh, ready. And we'll go ahead and repair this real quick. Thank you, and in you go. And back you go, all right. So, let's not make that mistake twice, although I told you guys, like, when I first started doing industrial craft, that would happen. I pretty much guaranteed it, so, you know, there's, there's that. <laughs> But uh, let's go ahead and what what did I need now? I have a full CF sprayer. I don't know if it can take more than that, but oh, that's right. I needed my um, canning machine. Okay, so we have it back. Let's go ahead and put it down here. Give it our transformer upgrades uh, and give it some overclockers. So now what we have to do with this CF sprayer, right? So we got the first part. Now we need... Um, 
iron scaffolds, right? So I'll just make one and it's going to make 16. I can't, what? Iron, let me look. Item casing, casing, uh, iron plate in a metal former. All right, so plate, let's grab one of those. Iron, perfect. And there we are. Let me grab that from you real quick. Go to our pattern thingy. This is going to be a machine that goes in there. And then we run over here to, is it this one? Yeah, this one. And we throw that in there. And yoink. All right, perfect. And now we can throw that, nope, throw this in here like that. Boom. Auto craftable. Sweet. So, nope, wrong one. It's this one. There we go. And we'll go ahead and throw these in there. So what was I making? Oh, right. Uh, iron scaffolds. So this is going to make 16. Shouldn't take too awfully long, I don't think. Come on. You can do it. All right, there we go. So we have 16 scaffolds. We're going to need more CF. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this into... Uh, get enriched. Nope. There we go. And we'll go ahead and set this to always active. So it has water and we'll just go ahead and, oh, it doesn't have power. Um, got some of those. Cool. Cool. All right. So it does have its transformer upgrades in there, right? Okay, good. I do not want that thing to explode again. That would be the worst. So this should be going, all right, cool. So it's making some of that stuff. Now, like I said, so for the, uh, forget, I always forget what the name of this machine is called, like reprocessor or replicator. That's the one. I know it starts with an REP. We need this reinforced stone. So that's what we're going to be doing. We take this iron scaffolding. Okay. Go ahead and place some of it down on the ground right here. And it's, yeah, there we go. So. Now we have uh, it set up like that, and I think it has to dry. I'm pretty sure. So I will let it sit for a second. I don't know how much of that foam did it use. It only used 500 mil buckets. I wonder if I can just do this whole stack and then give it a right click. Oh, it did almost the whole stack. And how much did that take? So it'll do a bucket at a time, looks like. Okay, let me grab this from you. Thank you. And yeah, I think it has to, I'm pretty sure it has to dry. Uh, I don't know how to make it dry or if it does it like on its own. I'm going to sleep though because, you know, sunlight might make it dry, right? I'm not 100% sure. But we'll go ahead and wait for that. We can craft our metal former and our recyclers. Uh, reinforced construction foam. Uh, I like so curious as to what happens if I break it, but I don't want to ruin it. Oh well, it's just one. What happened? It's just reinforced construction foam. Can I do anything with it? No, no, not at all. Can I place it back down and let it dry? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that, but. We need to worry about a couple other things. We need to get some HV transformers auto craftable, which looks like it requires a fair amount of things. Okay, uh, sulfur, pulverized lead. Awesome. That's actually always a problem when it requires pulverized dust like that because all that stuff goes in here. But maybe, actually, I think I only have like the... Th Thermal. Okay, it is. It is. It does dry. Look at that. We got some reinforced stone coming. All right, cool. So that's going to be happening. Now what I can do is uh, this macerator here is a recipe, right? Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and take some lead. Uh, lead. No, that's not what I wanted. Lead. L-E-A. Okay, let's grab one and throw it in the macerator. Throw it in the macer. No way. You're really not going to let me have any of that? Really? Oh, that is so, so, so unfortunate. So, uh, compressor, grinder, huh? 
Uh, I don't want to have to make a grinder, but I think I do. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, where's the grinder at? See, I told you this is going to be kind of a problem, right? Got our grinder, right? That's an industrial grinder. Where's the regular grinder? What? Gr okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. What? It said I could grind it. Metal former, compressor, macerator. You sit, see? It says I can do it. It Look at this. It says I can. And get pulverized lead. Do you see this? You guys see that, right? That's a macerator. For sure. I'm not crazy. There's a grinder here. That's probably the industrial grinder, I guess. Why won't you do it? Why will you not do what I want you to do? You're not going in the thing. You're not doing the thing with the stuff. Okay, well... Uh, and, like, there's no regular grinder. Just this industrial grinder from, uh... Tech Reborn, and that's not happening. You know what I mean? It's just not gonna go down. So, hmm. Uh, what can I do here? I need lead. Lead. Okay, so. Here's what's gonna happen. Oh, man. Alright, what can I do? I have resource processing over here. Huh, let's see, if I want ingots, I can request dust here, right? Okay, it's cool. So where, which one does lead? Uh, let me get this bad boy. Let, where are you? I know one of you are in here. Uh, you have nothing. What? Why don't you have anything? What are you supposed to be? Interesting, pulverized silver. Pulverized tin. Gotta go a few more here. Pulverized lead. Okay, so this will get changed to a interface. And now we will have it. Boom. Uh, so we want some pulverized lead. Right? Okay, cool. So, pulverized lead, um, huh, and then it would be one pulverized lead is one regular lead here. Okay, so now basically what's going to happen is I just might end up stocking up on pulverized light at some point, but whatever. Who cares? Who cares? All right, so let me go ahead and throw some of this into here, and it shouldn't take it and put it into the furnace anymore. I still don't know what's here. Um, what do you make? What do you got here? This is copper. Maybe I just... I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to need copper for a while, so I won't worry about it. There we go. And now we should be able to get on with what we were getting on with. All right, so we got plenty of reinforced stone going down over here. Perfect. I'm just going to let that sit there for right now, though. So we need to go back to industrial craft and go back to our replicator. Right. MFE, we have auto craftable. So replicator. We need HV transformers. And do I have any transformers? Tran, HV, okay, so those are auto-craftable, good. Replicator, so what are we missing? All right, um, electric, we need one of these, okay. We need um, gold, we need one of these, okay. Uh, and, okay, can we make that? Okay, we're so close, copper. Just need one of these. Thank you. Alright. What? Get out of here with that. Thank you. And go to the crafting. Got it. Um, everything should be good. Uh, oh, actually, um, 
First, let me, I need to hold on to that, but that's an assembler pattern. And then this is gonna have to go over back to the other place, but that's fine for, it's fine for now. Actually, I will go ahead and put both of these in here because they're not gonna need them anytime soon. So that's how we get our battery. I can't uh, advance, let's go ahead and craft one of those. All right, and now back to our replicator. We should be able to get the transformer after we get our advanced RE battery. There we go. Okay, so there's our transformer. Now, replicator, once again, we got it. Got that. Now we just need our teleporter. And I actually already made that little dolly right here. Frequency transmitter. Let's go ahead and craft one of those. Okay, perfect. So, we have our teleporters. Now, let's just go back into our assembler here. Get that, that, and uh, I think that should be good. So, now I need HV transformer. Let's go ahead and make one of those. I need teleporter. Okay, teleporter. Let's go ahead and make one of those. I need reinforced glass. So let's go ahead and make some of that. And then I need this reinforced stone here. So let me go ahead and grab. Oh, yeah, they said it takes a really long time to break. So let's go ahead and use this bad boy. Perfect. And two is all we need for this particular recipe, but I'll just go ahead and grab four just in case. Oh, oh, that cat. Can you hear her? She's saying hello to everybody. That's what she's doing. Aren't you? Yeah, she is. <laughs> you can't see her, but she's gorgeous. So with that, we should be able to make our replicate. What are we missing? Oh, uh, MFE. MF, yep, right here. So just need one of these now. And that should just about get everything done. I, but unfortunately do not think we're gonna actually have time for the whole setup process. So let me go ahead and uh, get this MFA and get this last recipe done. All right, so we now have all of the things that we need for, uh, you know, to start this UU Matter process. Oh, one more thing that I'm gonna do before we go uh, is take this uranium. I feel like there might have actually been something else I wanted to do, but I forget. Oh no, oh, I uh, can't, this thing, it goes in here. Oh, that was just awful. All right, so it goes in here and then this process is, uh, yeah, okay, it is heating up. It processes into, you know, four tiny piles, which will be 16 tiny piles of uranium, or plutonium, rather, which will only be one piece of plutonium, so it's going to take a while. We can look down here as well, and uh, we've gone down about 25% of the power so far, and every single one of these is just about filled up, so... I'm going to have to jump into the recycler and everything. All that stuff should take a decent amount of power and it should help us use it for, uh, you know, an item that will help us in the future when we can just kind of auto craft things. But uh, that is going to do it for us here. Let me go ahead and actually, uh, you know, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll go ahead and craft everything when I get it set up because the setup is going to be a little bit odd as well. It's not going to be, uh, you know, as straightforward just because of channels. Channel numbers are a problem. They always will be. And, uh, you know, I kind of have to worry about it with this setup. I don't want to go above 32 channels. So I kind of want to deal with what I've got here. I don't plan on expanding the IC2 here too much. If I do more industrial craft, it'll be in the city that we build. But, uh, yeah, I think that's... Let me go ahead and sleep so I can say goodbye during the daytime. Um, but, yeah, good progress. We got we got a bunch of items crafted, so to speak. We've got, you know, things done. I I like how it is to make this reinforced stone. I like how it's kind of a little process in itself. It wasn't just, you know, some crafting recipe. But um, uh, I don't think there's anything else um, really to 
to go over. I think that actually pretty much covers it. Uh, please, if you guys do, uh, you know, if you guys know Ark Survival Evolved and enjoy the game, uh, make sure to check out those videos on the channel. Or, uh, you know, if you like dinosaur taming and, you know, kind of survival building, that's pretty much what Ark is. It's like a survival with dinosaur taming. And I think there's some story aspect to it, but uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, and don't forget, guys, still looking for where, like, uh, I'm thinking probably by episode 50, we will be starting on the city. So please leave me ideas of things that you want to see in our metropolitan area, ideas of interesting ways to use mods, perhaps, for, uh, you know, interesting things. Um, but I think that's going to just about do us here. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. I did have a wonderful time. And, um, yeah, until I see you guys again, have... Uh, good one.